Yesterday we've conducted a post-mortem examination of the body of Mrs Watson from Maclay Island here and unfortunately it's confirmed our suspicions that she's met a violent and unnatural death and uh, we're now conducting a, a homicide investigation in relation to what happened here. So, so injuries? Uh... Her injuries are consistent with uh, suffering uh, quite a high level of violence and uh, this makes us renew our, our plea. This is a, an 85 year old lady in her own home. We're very keen to have some assistance from the public. Anyone that's seen anything or, or knows anything about what's happened here, come forward no matter how small it is to give us every assistance that we need to solve this crime. Does it look like it was one person? We can't really postulate as to uh, the number of people and things like that, but uh, we know it's been a vicious attack uh, in the sanctity of our own home, and this is why we need need the public to come forward and help us as much as we can. What about inside the home? Was it, was it ransacked at all? Uh, I'm unable to discuss that sort of thing, but as you can see, we're, we're still conducting our forensic examinations here in the home, and will be for a couple of days yet, I suspect, Do making sure that we miss absolutely nothing. Do you believe there was a weapon involved? Uh, I'm unable to go into the specifics at this stage, but uh, she's just met a violent, unnatural death. Is anything missing from inside the home? We're not sure at this stage because uh, there's been various discussions even in the media about uh, uh, that she had money. Well, we're trying to confirm that. If anyone knows that, uh, even things like that, please come forward and tell us what you know of her, her habits, her visitors, her routines, and uh, that might be just the one piece that we're missing in this puzzle to be able to solve this and, and bring it to a head. And was there any sign of a forced entry? Uh, I'm unable to go into the specifics of that at this stage, but we're looking at every aspect of the house, uh, her life, her friends, her associates, people who visit, where she goes, her routines, just that there might be that one little piece of information that uh, seals it for us. I heard, um, I heard that there was a rumour going on that there was a person hiding in the wetlands off uh, Great off Western Road. I haven't heard, haven't heard anything like that at all, but that's a good example where uh, it is a small community and people do talk. Uh, we encourage that if you do know anything, whether you think it's a rumour or whether it's true or not, come forward, let us know. It might just be the, the piece that we're missing, that it might mean something important to us but doesn't mean anything to the person at the time. That's the sort of thing we need to hear and get it down and document it and work out and get to the so bottom of these things. There hasn't been a local charge? No, there's been, there's been no person charged whatsoever at this stage and hence that's why we're here to, uh, to help help get the, the word out there to, to no, come and help us. No, the, 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 um, the idea of the rumours is sort of thing, as I said, it's often counterproductive. Um, we're, we're looking to have uh, people who know anything come forward and, and uh, whether they think it's a rumour or not, come and let us know what's going on and uh, give us a hand. Artwork stolen? Uh, not that we're aware of, no, so. And cash stolen, if you know she's had large quantities. Probably not really able to go into the specifics at this stage, but uh, again, if it's a rumour, uh, come and tell us. Come and tell us what you know. Yeah. The, um, I just heard something just ten minutes ago that um, the bank books and handbags were found at Delphia Beach. Uh, I'm unable to comment on that at all. So at this stage, we're, we're mainly looking for who knows her, her routines, or anything about her, her friends, associates. You might be the actual holder of that last piece of information we need to. Uh, to get to the bottom of this. Have you been hearing much from people in the community? Have they been uh, people have been coming forward, which is good. Uh, it's the whole whole idea of it. Come forward, help us, uh, tell us what you know. And uh, again, as we've often said with this small island community, everyone knows everyone. Um, and uh, we're, we're trying to uh, leverage off that to be able to use it to get the, the information that we really need. Yes, it's it's uh, it cuts to the very heart of our society, doesn't it? We we're here to protect people uh, in society, and here's an example of an 85 year old lady that's died in her own home. So there's nothing more important for the police than to be able to investigate and solve something like this, and bring whoever's done this to justice. And her family, they must be. Her, it's hard to hard to understand how you would face tomorrow from her family's perspective. They're obviously distraught, devastated, and. That's a, a large motivator for our staff too, to be able to do something for a family that suffered such a tragedy as this. And just lastly, how long will the forensic, forensic teams be here? It's literally one of those things where we have a warrant that will last us for an entire week. And if it takes a week, we'll take the week. And if we need longer, we'll go and get an extension until we can get every single piece of evidence uh, from this house because there's no there's no second attempt. You can't come back in a month's time when you've forgotten something rather. So inch by inch, millimetre by millimetre, we're going through that house to be able to try and get absolutely everything we need from it. 
because she was such a welcoming person, was it difficult um, finding fingerprints because so many people have been in her home? Is that something that you can comment on? Uh, I can't really comment on that, but th uh, that is one thing that's coming through the entire investigation, that she's such a, a, a lovely person who's uh, good-natured, uh, generous to a fault, uh, thoroughly enjoys uh, company, and um, it makes it even harder to understand how such a, a horrible thing could happen to a lovely lady like her. Sure. Everyone happy?